boys and girls. Today we are going to plan our birch tree painting. Here's a couple examples for you to look at. You can see that this one here has a blue sky and three trees. This other example has four trees, one that splits into a Y, and then also more of a sunset background. So those are going to be some of your choices as you start to plan. So in your learning log or on a piece of paper, we are going to plan out our painting. So then add the date. Our first step to planning is we are going to draw a horizon line or where the ground touches the sky. So that's a line, you can place it down towards the bottom of the paper if you want more sky or up higher if you would like more ground. It doesn't have to be straight, it can have some curve to it. I'd like you to write horizon line on or by that line. The next step is we are going to talk about the different areas of the painting. So the background is the area that is furthest back. It's usually the sky, possibly some things on the ground, but usually just the sky. The foreground is the very front or the bottom of the picture. It would be closest to the viewer. The background looks like it's the farthest away. And then the area in between is the middle ground. All right, now we'll place our trees. I would like you to have a tree in your foreground and a couple in your middle ground. I'd like you to have three to five trees. The trees that are in the foreground are going to be bigger than the trees that get farther back into the middle ground. It is helpful not to place a tree directly in the middle of your painting. You to place a bigger tree off to the side. And then I'm just going to have three trees in my picture. And then a third tree over here. So you can see that my tree closest to the viewer comes down farther in the paper. It is wider and then they get narrower as we move from the foreground farther back towards the background of our painting. So now my planning is done. I will need this picture later to practice the textures on my trees. So the next step will be painting our background.